Logan Kane here, and this is episode 12 of Paper Sorcerer. One thing I wanted to get out of the way right away was I ended up looking more into the Paper Sorcerer development. Apparently it's created in Unity, which is completely believable, but wow, some of these effects and battle animations reminded me of messing around with RPG Maker. But I guess RPG Maker never really advanced beyond the top-down 2D style, so... There you have it. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to go into another catacombs, because why not? Take me to the catacombs, level 2. Ah, damn it, I just clicked on level 1, didn't I? Well. Whoopsies. Go ahead and use this gem of recall. Go back to the strange old house. Blah, 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 blah. Take me to the catacombs. I want to go to level 2, not level 1. Okay. Hopefully this one pr will provide a bit more of a challenge. Although it looks like it's set up about the same. What's over here? Nothing? What the fuck is that? Um. Uh. Well, charge on in. That's what I do. In this room, you find an unsettling, hunched-over figure. Heh, I find a lot of spare parts around here. Maybe you'd be needing some spare parts, too. Why don't you have a look what I found? So, is this guy friendly? Okay, he's a buy-sell. He's a merchant. Okay, okay. Looks like this is where I buy all the stuff for my doll. go back. Alright. I want him to be damage. Like, pure, pure damage. Six strength, two magic. I don't really want magic, but... Hmm. Ooh, that 12 defense is tempting. I'm gonna go with a basic strong head. Yep. With the body. Got lots of defense. Anything for strength? There's strength. Anything else? This one. 23 defense. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. Basic strong body. Okay. And what's next? Left arm. Left <laughs> Flamethrower arm. That is awesome. But no, I just want to go for raw damage, I think. So, we got shield. We got a uh, thief arm. 2 to 7, 5 to 14. 5 to 14 and also 4 magic. I don't know why I would not go with that one. Anyway. Guillotine, 6 to 25. I like that. I think that's the one I'm going to go with. There's your left arm, buddy. What about your right arm? Oh, wow. Do another guillotine arm. Hell yeah. Let's try it out. See what happens. Alright, so... Wait, how do I do this? Summon. Goblin? I mean, swapped out for the puppet. Now we're going to equip the puppet. He's already got that, so give him a head, a body, a left arm, and a right arm. I get the feeling that this guy is going to do a lot of damage. Okay. I also have the feeling if I try and steal this, he's going to attack me. Oh, nope. That's just somebody. Just random. Random crap attacking me. Alright, let's all just do a regular attack on the hedge wizard. Hopefully follow-up attacks will go after the squire. They should all die quickly. These are... These guys are nothing. Not bad. And probably dead. Oh, yeah. What? Huh. Little dead. Okay, maybe I should have focused a little bit... Something for defense for him, but I didn't really... Probably gotta focus with ruins for defense for him. All of the... Everything seemed to be more about attack. Except maybe the helmets. Alright, Minotaur, attack. Puppet. You know what? Do you have skills now? You do have skills now. Okay. Go ahead and do a brutal strike. Let's see what happens. Cultist just attack. And me? I'll go ahead and use a black bolt. Go, go, go. Man. Five damage, that's it. Jeez. 84 damage. Wow. I know that was a skill, but still. Holy hell. That should be about to finish him, huh? I'd probably just go around with normal attacks. 
Let the puppet get some energy back. Everybody else has their energy back. 45 damage. Jesus Christ. Glass cannon. M melee style, though. All right. Thick skin. Passively raise resistance. Awesome. Okay. I didn't fight him. That's good. Might want to talk to him again someday. So, what's about here? These things? Nothing? Nothing in here? Okay. Oh geez, I just got myself lost. I'm completely lost. Is this going back over to him? Okay. So we want to go this way. Uh, what's over here again? Hmm. This would go on this way. Ugh. Jeez, that's terrifying looking. And yeah, I think it's random fights in here. What is that a really tall, really skinny dwarf? What is he? He's a dead level 5 dwarven fighter. Alright, well, I'm gonna fast forward through this for y'all, so be right back. <laughs> And we're back. I was actually thinking maybe going back for the puppet so he can get better, get the shield arm. I do a lot of damage, but 28 defense is not enough. And then here we are, and we got gems, books, a trick arm, a flamethrower, a tough body, and a strong body, so... Um... What is the difference here? The strong body has a little bit less HP, but more strength? Yeah, that's it. New skill, Mending. Cures element ailments such as Cripple, Blind, and Poison. Awesome. And Defensive Strike leveled up. Always good. Blind all enemies leveled up. Not complaining about that. Guess we're going to go ahead and charge into this asshole. And you know what? Actually, that'll be the last fight, so let's go finish exploring. I saw the door behind him, so... Let's see. There really is nothing in here, is there? I only saw the one chest. Had a couple of fights so far, but... Only the one chest. Hmm. And now... Okay, we're back over here. Well, let's go over... Let's backtrack to here. No. Ah, damn it. And I'll be back. And we're back. Damn, that puppet does a lot of damage. Alright. That was quicker than I thought it would be, even. Inner fire. Heal your wounds and regenerate. Interesting. Alright, where was I? It's so easy for me to get lost in these damned catacombs. So I'm back to him. He was to the left. This is the starting area. I went this way. And I wanted to go this way. See what was over here. But it looks like there's nothing. Looks like this whole catacomb is pretty much empty. So, I guess we'll go fight that mysterious blob. I'm sure it's a fight. And yeah, charge in. You can feel some of your power returning. You may summon one of your former thralls to aid in your escape. Choose wisely. They will function as your party for the rest of your adventures. Here. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for one of these. Okay, I don't, I, I really don't know what to choose. I mean, the cultist is pretty much always going to be there because he can heal, but man, I really want a skeleton because I like skeletons, and I really want a werewolf because I like werewolves. And more importantly, I like the fast part. I want to see how he is. And do I really even need a defensive guy? I'd have to replace... Ah, oh, what the heck, I want a skeleton. The skeleton, a stalwart warrior, keeps the focus of the enemy through challenges, while using defensive skills to keep himself and the party alive. Thanks to heavy armor and assortment of defensive skills, the skeleton excels in protecting the more fragile members of the party. Example skills. Challenge. Cause the enemy to focus their attacks on the user, while passively raising defense. Reform. Passively regenerate some HP each round. Can equip long swords, light, medium, and heavy armor, a shield, and one accessory. Oh, yeah, I can use him instead of my cultist, because he'll be able to 
pull all the damage to him. Alright. Don't forget to equip him. I have, I have to summon him, too. Alright. Cultist, you're going away in favor of the skeleton. Because skeletons, yeah. Try and equip the skeleton. See if I have any weapons. No, I don't have any weapons. I sold all of the weapons that he uses. So I'm going to have to go buy all that stuff. But I'll do that off camera. You guys don't need to see that. Alright. Well. It looks like this is it for episode 12 of Paper Sorcerer. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you still enjoy it. Enjoy!